All right, if you're seeing a B1000 code, that means your vehicle's airbag control module, ECU, has detected an internal fault and the system has likely disabled the airbags as a safety precaution. Let's break that down. The airbag ECU is the brain of the supplemental restraint system, SRS. It monitors crash sensors, seat occupancy, belt status, and other inputs. And if it detects a severe collision, it decides when and how to deploy the airbags. It constantly runs self-checks to make sure everything is working properly. If it finds a problem with its own internal circuits, memory or programming, it triggers this B1000 code. And when that happens, your airbag light on the dash will usually come on, sometimes solid, sometimes flashing. So what causes it? The most common issue is a failure inside the airbag control module itself. These modules can go bad due to internal electrical faults, moisture intrusion or physical damage, especially if the car's been in an accident, even a minor one. Sometimes even just a drained or jump-started battery can corrupt the module's memory and trigger this code. Another possibility is a loss of communication or power ground issue at the module. Corroded connectors, loose pins or damaged wiring can sometimes mimic an internal fault Always worth checking the connector before condemning the module. Also, some vehicles, especially GM, Ford and older Toyota models, will lock the airbag module after a crash, even if the airbags didn't deploy. Once that happens, the module stores crash data and sets a B1000. In those cases, it usually needs to be reset or replaced. Here's what to check. Inspect the airbag ECU for water damage. If it's mounted low on the floor, under the console or near the firewall, water intrusion from leaks or carpet flooding can corrode the board. Check all power and ground wires at the module. Use a multimeter to make sure it's getting clean voltage and has solid ground. Scan the system with a full function scan tool. Check for other airbag related codes. Sometimes the B1000 shows up alongside other SRS faults that point to the root cause. If the car was in a crash or had airbags deploy, the ECU might be locked. At that point, it may need to be reset using a specialized tool or replaced entirely. If you're replacing the module, make sure to match the part number exactly and have it properly programmed. Many cars require a dealer level scan tool to code it to the VIN. One more note, if you just replaced the battery or had electrical work done and suddenly got this code, try clearing it first. In rare cases, a low voltage event or spike can set a false B1000 that won't return after a reset. So yeah, B1000 is basically the airbag system telling you that its brain isn't functioning right. Could be internal failure, crash history, or even wiring. But either way, don't ignore it. With this code active, your airbags might not deploy in a crash. That's it for this one. Stay safe, and I'll see you in the next.